Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This, oh, let's see what has come out for you. Okay, I want to put these away but I just want to say that we do have the page of feathers which is exploration and discovery. This is the page of swords. So I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of, um, a lot of things like this is opening your mind to something new, learning something new, doing something new. We've also got the three of feathers, release and recovery. So this could be like, I really feel like it's a great time to learn something new or write something new or communicate something, express something new, because this is going to be healing for you. It's going to help you release, even if it's writing things down, help you release something that this is a beautiful energy of release, actually. And Virgo got a very similar energy and a very similar card. So if you're cross-watching for a Virgo or you have any Virgo in your chart, you might want to check out that reading as well. But yeah, this really feels like it's like, okay, I, I need to free myself from this. I really do. And you will. You are. It's like, I'm free. I'm free. Okay, so let's see what else is coming in. Ooh. Ooh, and then once you're free, look at how beautiful you look with the awakening, the beautiful peacock. So renewal and enlightenment. It's actually really weird because I can, I'm looking out here, there's blue skies, but I can hear thunder. So it must be one of those weird weather days where it's really sunny one side and probably that side there's like a big storm coming. Anyway. Awakening, this is you, renewal and enlightenment. And then we have the beautiful Black Panther here of the Nine of Acorns, which is the Nine of Wands, power and perseverance. Wow. Wow. This is like a reward for, you've been really tested here, Aquarius. And the very deep, powerful part of your soul is saying, these are the rewards for the power and the perseverance for you connecting to your power, releasing something that is not yours. It's not you. You didn't need to carry that. And so you can release that, let that go. And you're coming back to yourself and seeing what I see in me is this beautiful peacock. This is me. I'm beautiful and something very amazing is awoken within. And there's this sense because this thing has been released of renewal that comes with this. So, yeah, what a beautiful energy to come through for you, Aquarius. It really is extraordinary. So let's see what's shifting and changing. I mean, it feels like it's you can see the shift already, <laughs> a release and renewal and enlightenment. Wow. So let's see what's shifting and changing for Aquarius. What's shifting and changing for Aquarius is so beautiful, absolutely so beautiful. And it's just, there's light, there's light that needs to shimmer and shine that you are putting out into the world. And you might even notice that, you know, other people are noticing you or admiring you or somehow re responding to this light that you're emitting this renewal, this energy of renewal that comes through. But I think most of all, this nine of acorns represents you seeing yourself, seeing an aspect of yourself that has awoken for the first time. And so there's this beautiful energy of validation, that self-validation that comes in. So what's shifting and changing Jupiter Sagittarius? Yes, absolutely. Jupiter Sagittarius, one date, boom, shift of energy with the one date, things can suddenly expand. You're seeing the bigger picture now. Perhaps you were struggling with that, but this is bigger picture energy. And what you're attracting towards you is going to be something so fabulous. It really is amazing. And so I get a lot to do with what they're showing me is that a lot to do with Mercury in Sagittarius, and that will be sextiling your energy Aquarius and creating opportunities for you here. So yes, and it's this sense of attracting in or being really attractive, something that you really want. And this Jupiter, this particular one day, Jupiter Sagittarius is saying something could shift in all sorts of different directions here. So yeah, there's this amazing expansion, but it comes from you. It's like you're expanding. And then from that, it's like the world changes around you. Everyone changes around you. So, yeah, what you see, what you perceive, the opportunities, it all 
it's it's like it changes. You're suddenly seeing, yeah, like I said, the bigger picture. So amazing. This doesn't feel right, this, sh this shuffle. So Aquarius, I just wanted to let you know that this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Always recommend to watch all three of your placements if you know where they are because it gives you a fuller picture of what's going on for you, a more holistic view. And this is a general reading, Aquarius. Just take what feels right, leave the rest and just don't take on anything that doesn't resonate. You know, I've just had to shuffle this three times, which I normally don't, to get the right feeling into this. Look at this. Six of Wands, success coming in. Success, victory. This is the card of validation. So absolutely. Wow. You're being recognized, validated here. Wow. Beautiful. Crossed by the Five of Swords. A little bit of conflict around that. Uh, so this could be other people being jealous of you, but it could be you uh, potentially being conflicted about accepting this, accepting the compliment, accepting what's being shown back to you, mirrored back to you. So interesting. The devil in your conscious mind. Okay, so this is the darkness that you've been dealing with, the devil, and, uh, you know, something that's been very stuck there in your conscious mind is wanting to shift the one day it does represent a shift and it also a shift of energy, very clear and direct messages you're going to get. And this can often represent coming back home, coming back home to yourself. But it's like the self you're coming back to is this beautiful, they keep showing me like it's like this star, like a beautiful nebula, like it's like boom, out it comes. Um, so beautiful. At the base, we've got the king of pentacles. Absolutely. Wow. Wow, four of wands. Okay, I'm going to pull the cards out. Here's this three of swords, which you've got twice now. We've got the, which is the three of feathers. Ooh, you're turning up as the empress. Very nice. It's kind of interesting here, Aquarius. There's a real, some stark differences between, say, the devil, the three of swords, and the king of pentacles, and the empress, and the six of wands. It's like these real, you know, some black and white kind of energies, like the opposites or chalk and cheese kind of energies coming in. Um, the sun card. Yes, the sun is shining. We love it. And Aquarius, I just wanted to let you know as well that um, the link for my personal services is in the description box below if you are interested in a personal reading, especially seeing what's coming in for you in 2024. And there's a few new modalities there that you might like to check out as well. Oh, this is you, Eight of Swords, breaking free from those things that have been binding you, hurting you, wounding you, keeping you stuck, things that could have been very toxic, people that you just can't quite move past for whatever reason. These could be problem people in your life. And whatever this is, you're breaking free of other people's opinions of you, other people's perception of who you are and going, I see me and this is what I see. You're the beautiful Black Panther and I see me and this is it because other people can't see me. I've got the blindfold on and why should I be limited by someone else's lack of vision or someone else's limited mind? I see me. I see what I'm worth. I see what I'm capable of. I see the bigger picture. I see the new possibilities. Enlightening. So yes, here comes the card of validation here. It's all about validation. How are you being validated by the people around you, by yourself? And there's a bit of conflict around that, absolutely, because you've got the devil here in your conscious mind. Absolutely. And it may be these are the people that want to bring you down or just can't see. So the devil energy um, is there. But deep down, we have the king of pentacles. This is I know my worth. I'm the king of pentacles. I deserve value. I deserve money. I deserve all the good things. I deserve to have my needs met within a relationship. I deserve to be successful. And so it's this sort of almost like a rebellious energy coming up, Aquarius, and going, don't tell me what's inside my mind. Don't tell me what to believe. I know my mind and I know what I see. And so you really got to trust yourself here because if what you see deep down inside yourself is this king of pentacles, it's something very valuable. 
or it's you know something of great value that you could be making a lot of money out of as well. This could be a really fabulous idea that comes in. In the recent past, we've got the four of wands. So it kind of feels like there's there could be relate definitely relationships around. They they feel close to me. So there's a few things. There's, there's I'm feeling work relationships. So this is where you get the classic teacher that doesn't see the potential in the student, and that student's the one that goes out to be the most um, amazing person out in the world. You get the boss that says, I don't think you can do it, but that's the boss that can't see that this person is actually going to be the best at what they do. So we have this sense that there's relationships that are coming in, especially around the home, close personal relationships as well, as family relationships might be coming into this, coming into play with this. And the four of ones, we're seeing the 11 11. So we're seeing that there's some kind of soul sinistry between you and somebody else, soulmate energy. And you might be seriously be thinking, and this could be a joint energy between the two of you, what is it that we really want here? What is it that I, and you might be thinking, what is it I want? What is it that, I, that you want? What do we want? And it it's about setting up a foundation of what it is that you want so that you can celebrate who you are with the people that see you that you want to celebrate with. So we have in the near future this three of swords. It's kind of like I can't keep this in anymore. This is the release, the wound coming up to the elements to be healed. Uh, and the eight of swords is feeling really stuck, bound, restricted. And this, if you get to this, this could be frustration, frustration, frustrating energies. And if you get to it, these are all the swords. It's what's going on inside your mind or other people's minds is the thing, is the issue here that you need to be released from and freed from. So absolutely, I feel like it's there, there's some kind of like a, a, a shift in what's going on inside your mind here. You're presenting as the Empress. Look at the beautiful Empress here. We see Venus, uh, the Venus glyph. Coming in, Empress wants to reap the harvest. Empress wants to enjoy herself. She wants to just do whatever she wants to do, pleasure, fun, enjoyment. She doesn't want to be like dealing with the horrible energies of the devil and the three of swords and the eight of swords. No, that's not for her. That's not for this energy. That's not for this card. And so the Empress energy is very much wanting to just enjoy the good life enjoy the good things in life, not have to put up with that. I don't want to have to put up with that, the crap, the devil energies around you. So the energy surrounding you is the sun, which is saying there's opportunities for breakthroughs, there's new opportunities coming your way. We see all the sun, the sun uh, flowers represents opportunities. They might come out of nowhere and it might feel like a breakthrough when these opportunities come in because it looks like this character's just gone through the wall. How has that happened? It's like magic. But the sun is shining here for you, Aquarius. So be open for open to opportunities coming your way, potentially out of the blue. The sun card also represents revitalization, joy, happiness. And that's an important energy to come through with what's being released, an old energy that kept you bound and stuck. You don't want to be like this, the Eight of Swords. It's going from that to this, like the beautiful <laughs> young child free. So, and because it's got a lot of inner child energy here, it definitely could be related to um, you know, things that you learnt from a very young age that you kind of absorbed, belief systems that you absorbed from, say, zero to seven years. And this could be your environment, your relationship to family, uh, parents, teachers, siblings. It could be all of those sort of things that I think that potentially you're releasing yourself from here as well. It's perhaps um, an underlying belief system that is that is just holding you back in some way. Hopes and fears, we've got the seven of wands. This is where you're able to defend yourself, ward off those energies, those people that are wanting to kind of pull you down. You're keeping yourself up there in that top elevated position. No, this is my spot. This is where I belong. Don't drag me down and you might have to defend that. And so really what happens here as an outcome is we have the seven of cups, the queen of wands and the six of swords. I feel like you're the queen of wands sitting right in the middle of this as well. And this is where you are finding the opportunities to transition and move on from some drama, 
from some things that have kind of just been unsettling or just haven't felt right, trying to find some peace with these new opportunities that you're coming away, opportunities for peace and transitions are coming in. There's new options that are coming in. We're seeing here with the, the Seven of Cups, new options can and new choices can bring new results. So it may be that there's a big re-evaluation of where you're at with something in terms of the bigger picture, but then opportunities are coming your way. The picture's not necessarily fully clear yet with this Seven of Cups. You know, the picture's still forming. So, and there's more than one option coming in, but this Queen of Wands is very discerning. She, she's like, you know, doesn't let everything go through her filter because she knows she's attracting something, some things towards her at this moment in time. It's a matter of filtering out the stuff you don't want or the people you don't want and inviting in the things that you really do want. And one of those things, I think this Queen of Wands is looking, the opportunity is the Six of Swords, which is the card of travel, moving, uh, moving on and transitioning on. So I really feel like there's this opportunity here to move on from these devil energies, move on from the things that have wounded you, move on from the things that have bound you and held you stuck and move into validation, move towards opportunities, towards validation, towards shining, towards renewal and enlightenment, towards stepping into your power and yeah, persevere with it. It ha is a little bit like you've been a bit tested with this, but this is where we're seeing the breakthrough that are coming here in for you, Aquarius. So yeah, it's a beautiful time and they keep, I keep showing me light, like it feels like you're stepping into a lighter energy, bright white light of uh, higher vibration, higher vibrational opportunities you're coming, one, oh, you're coming your way and release of your spirit from those things that imagine like a rubber band is wound around you and you're like uh, stuck and restricted and then it's taken off and it's like, ah, now I'm free to move and step into new energies, new opportunities. So that's the feeling I'm getting for you, Aquarius. So it feels exciting. It really does. And so I think you're really going to notice a shift in this energy. So that's your reading, Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me. As mentioned, if you're interested in what's coming in for you in 2024, uh, the link to my personal services are below if you're looking for a reading. Um, and please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments. And it also helps with the growth of the channel. I really appreciate it. And take care.